Yes, I'm uh, going to say that I can sum up my work in a few slides and in a few minutes, but I'm going to share a little bit of uh, what we face and what we have done. Thank you. My name is Jane Wegesa Frazier. I am Kenya Bedba Network Coordinator here in Kenya. And uh, I am driven by the degraded state of Kenya's natural resources and lack of effective innovations that is proven in environment friendly that can offer a lasting solution to emerging challenges like floods, like landslides, like drought, yet we have solutions. My goal is to empower communities to adopt affordable green initiatives for sustainable land use and water conservation that builds resilience and create self-sufficiency. We promote Chris Bogon Susanoides because of its root system and the power in the root system and the stiffness of its um, and in an invasiveness. This is Bongoma County. This is an infrastructure that was very important to this community because it is the only bridge in miles and miles that actually um, uh, helps people cross over from one side to another to seek uh, services like shops and hospital and schools. And it was being threatened by floods that were actually eating through the eating of the bank and almost uh, breaking the, the bridge. So we stabilized this river bank using vetiver grass through sun, through soil bags, as you can see here. And a few months later, you can see already established site. This is a community in Siaya and Busia counties, communities that were actually facing a lot of dry wells and, uh, and sealed in the rivers. So we train them on hedgerows in their farms to control runoff and retain moisture uh, to increase uh, yield and groundwater recharge. This is communities in West Pokot, an, a semi-arid area that faces a lot of gullies. You will see pictures in my next slides. And we train them on gully rehabilitation, planting vetiver grass through soil bags and as you can see here, a few months later, already established site. This is a community in Taita Taveta County on hilly slopes where they were facing a lot of runoff from roads and developing gullies. As you can see, this huge gully, and here we had started some works. Here we were planting already vetiver grass in soil bags, and here a few rains after. In this picture, you can see already uh, green vegetation coming up. And this is a very already established site. This is also in uh, Taita Tabeta County. This is a different site with a gully, as you can see, community training community to, to stabilize the soils, planting vetiver through soil bags, and already established site. This is a community in South Down, a girls' school that was facing a lot of uh, degradation gullies developing around their school and the water coming partly from their roofs and partly from away. So we train them to establish hedgerows around their buildings to slow down runoff and also to rehabilitate the gullies that were developing in that around their school, their school land. This is what I face every day when I'm called to go and visit a site that uh, people are having challenges. This is somebody's land. This gully is formation source is, is road water. And they had built gardens here and here. They were all washed away. This is somebody's land. This is a community land with a dispensary just next here that is actually being threatened for being washed away. This is community land. This is community land. This is somebody's land. This is a home here. Yes, if this is your land, everything you have is at, at stake. The danger to your livestock, property, and yourself is just a stone throw away. And yes, there is interventions, means of interventions. So I want to encourage you that if we can just combine, combine a system application into farmlands, rehabilitation to reduce runoff and control pests, highly grazing areas to re enable revegetation and provide fodder, degraded lands and ecosystem restoration, catchment areas to aid vegetation. Let's replace and substitute of concrete shoulder dice with vetiver grass hedges. Application of vetiver in combination with riprap or rock protection, reservoir embankment and seal control as a tool in agriculture and permaculture. 
we need to integrate the river system because our infrastructure, land and water resources are seriously challenged. And most times conventional methods have failed. And that's why we see a lot of calamities. Yes, as for me, my feet are on the ground empowering communities to restore soils and transform barren lands into fertile oases. Thank you.